Does everybody have the map? It's important because we're going to go all sorts of places and it's nice to follow because most of these places don't exist today under that name. Most of it is part of Turkey today. If it wasn't for Nasser, this book would not have come out in this complete shape. Nasser was very, very instrumental. When they heard about this book, I called Bob, I talked to Nancy, and we did, Nasser immediately, without even any question, decided that it's worth to fund part of the publication. A few other individuals also helped. And the book came out fast. The main reason we need the books to come fast is because there are too many of them that we have to translate. And we're getting old. There are just a few of us that are doing it. And uh, I am eligible for Medicare in November. <laughs> Next year I collect Social Security. So it's getting to be Richard Hovannes and myself, Dadrian. That generation is getting old. We have a new generation coming up. Hopefully they'll continue if they get the chance we got. And Nasser is extremely important for the new generation of scholars. And I see you have invited many of them to speak. You're sponsoring many of them. You are doing, frankly, more than some of our chairs are doing. So I'm really grateful. Bravo to Nasser. Now, the book. Hakob Manandian was a great Armenian historian. He had studied in Europe. He's not part of those historians who had studied in the Soviet Union under Stalin period. He had studied in Germany, in Vienna, in Italy. He could read all those languages, including Greek and Latin. So when he did come to Armenia, as a number of other great Armenian scholars came to Armenia, he was greeted very well, and he was allowed a little bit more leeway than other Armenian authors who were living in Armenia or born in the Soviet period. So he was allowed to write a book on Tigran the Great. At the time, 1940, at the height of the Stalin period, right that before Germany invaded in 1941, mainly because he was Manandia, and he was an academician. Because, as you know, Stalin did not like any national sentiments on the minorities claiming nationalism. And if anybody is nationalistic for Armenian history, it is Tikran the Great. After all, we have only one king who is known as the Emperor the Great, and that's Tikran. All of our other kings didn't even come close. And uh, Armenia, for most of its history, it's difficult to explain it to the Armenians. Our dynasties were very weak. We generally were surrounded by either Iran, different dynasties in Iran, Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire, later on the Arabs, and the various Turkish groups that came in during the crusading periods. And the Armenian dynasties were never playing a major role in the history of the region. When I mean major role, I don't mean culturally. Of course, we played a great role culturally, artistically, etc., etc. But major role as far as power political power. It was only really one of the few periods, and Tigran is the greatest period of Armenian history. So Manandian decided to write a book on Tigran. Manandian died 57 years ago and wrote a large number of books and articles. Many of them are used to this day. Only one of his numerous works has been translated into English. <coughs> Professor Nina Garsoyan, I'm sure you know her, many years ago, 40 years ago to be exact, published Manandian's famous work, The Trade and Cities of Armenia in Relation to the Ancient World Trade, published by Gulbenkian Foundation. It's out of print, but I'm sure we have it here. This translation is only the second book of Manandian to be rendered into English. For those who are interested, not just in the history of Armenia, but Pontus and Rome. There was a French translation, also published by Gulbenkian, 45 years ago, but it's also impossible to obtain, not easy to read for those who don't know French, and the notes are 45 years old. 
Since then, a lot of new scholarship has been done on this period, and my notes reflect the scholarship up to 2007. So the material in the notes, the annotations, are much more current in this one. Not that the French translation is bad, it's an excellent translation. But the notes are outdated. Now, Manandian very early on realized that the history of ancient Armenia during the period of Tigran Metz, or Tigran the Great, has been studied only in a very cursory fashion by those European historians who were primarily interested in the history of Rome and the kingdom of Pontus. Look at map number one. Pontus was a major important kingdom because of its location on the Black Sea. That's the area today of Turkey, which has Trebizond, Sinop, Samsun, and etc., etc. The port of Heraclea, Amisus, different names now, different Turkish name names. But that is an important kingdom close to the Black Sea and close to the Roman area because Rome, early on, after they conquered Greece, penetrated what is today westernmost Turkey. The map number one shows Roman Asia province. Rome had already penetrated that area, and Manandia realized that most historians are not real interested in history of Armenia. This is what they are interested in. All the European sources rely heavily on Roman historians. 